So hi Chelsea, can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Chelsea Rice, I'm from the United States, um, I live in the state of Florida. I've uh, been diabetic for a little over 30 years, I was diagnosed in around 1989 uh, with type 1 diabetes. Thank you. Um, and do you think, uh, Chelsea, that it is important for uh, people with diabetes to attend such conference as ATTD? It's very important. It's something that I'm, I think I'm really passionate about is seeing more patients attending these types of conferences because the simple fact is if, if someone that has the ability to help you, they won't know how to help you unless you talk to them or unless you make yourself visible. And that's what I think um, in diabetes, because of the stigma, a lot of people don't want anyone to know about the diabetes. They want anyone to know. They don't really talk to their healthcare professionals in a manner that um, can, can better help themselves. You have to be do your due diligence. And attending these types of conferences is doing your due diligence. You have to advocate for yourself. It's, uh, it's something that that's, gets said a lot and almost maybe seems kind of cliche but you really have to advocate for yourself and doing that includes going to these types of conferences whenever available if you have the ability or if you seek out the ability through scholarships or just whatever type of funding you need just really look and attend these types of conferences okay great and um, speaking for yourself what are the main um, topics or your main expectations from the congress I honestly, I came in kind of blind because I didn't really know that much about it um, because I'm not a, a, a healthcare professional or a scientist or anything. But what I'm gathering is there's a lot of grassroots people that are actually putting forth the effort to come up with different technologies and strategies and different algorithms and devices to help people like myself with diabetes, help me better manage my own diabetes and help actually take more control of my diabetes. I don't, not that it's gonna override what the larger companies provide or anything, but what it does, it provides options. And throughout my advocacy, I haven't had an opportunity to really be around that type of, of information. And so that's, when I when I got here and then I saw what was being discussed, then I was actually more intrigued about okay, what more can I learn that I can take back to my community and provide and and, and show what's really out there, what are the options there are. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea, and have a wonderful time with the Dog Voices at ATTD. Thank you for your help.